Hello there, Pete Brooker here from Tailors with Love and today I'm going to walk you through a little experiment I did with my Adidas Gazelles. I bought these trainers back in July and I got Anastasia a pair too. And of course I get to have my invisible bond moment as these were the trainers Bond wore in Skyfall when he was training for his return for active duty. I actually carry this picture around with me on my phone and if I see someone wearing these trainers I often stop them and show them this photo and say you're wearing Bond's trainers and Anastasia hates it but they often get a kick out of it and I should say I only show the photo to people that I think I could outmaneuver should they think of grabbing my phone and making a run for it. So as these trainers have a white midsole I often have to clean them more or less weekly with an old toothbrush and some bleach. I stepped in some gum on a hot day in Romford <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I applied some rosemary oil and uh, that did the trick. I've also heard if you freeze your trainers, then it's easy to get out as well. Uh, still, people tell me a lot of the time don't get them wet. But when you live in the UK, that's not always easy. Getting them wet didn't deteriorate the colour, but it was the sun that makes them fade. And I especially noticed after coming back from a hot week in Venice that the colour had rapidly faded. There we go. Jesus Christ, they look like entirely different shoes. What do you think? So how long have you been wearing yours? Like two or three outings? Yeah. Three outings or so. That is, woof, crazy. So I ordered some suede and nubuck dye on Amazon. And I don't know if they sent me the wrong color or if I ordered the wrong color. Something got screwed up, but it doesn't really matter. I got the black instead of the blue. And, oh, I did get a few comments saying that why not leave the natural fade in the, in the trainers a bit like you have with denim. But, you know, with all the gazelles, they look the same over time because everyone just lets them fade, right? So I wanted mine to look a bit different. And yeah, that's my brother there. So this dye comes with a brush. It's very big. You'll need a smaller paintbrush for the in-between bits and also make sure you have some newspaper and some tissues on standby. I also recommend getting some gloves in case it all goes terribly wrong. Um, and what I was impressed with was how the gold emblem on the gazelle is still visible. So I painted over it many times and it still came through. And I only gave it one coat. But came out pretty well, I think. I cleaned up the midsole and the tongue. I also dyed the laces. And in case you're wondering if I feel sexy using my tweezers here, then I do. <laughs> I feel like a nuclear physicist. Oh, So that's done. I have plenty of newspapers, by the way, that will, they'll take a while to dry. It's still raining outside, so I can't hang them outside just yet. But for now, I think you can get the idea, so I'll show you this. Here are the newly dyed sneakers next to Anastasia's barely worn ones. And these trainers are very comfortable, by the way. If I know I'm going to walk about 10k in a day like I do when I work around London, then I wear these trainers exclusively. I don't run in them. not sure if Bond does. For me, these are just nice casual walking around trainers but they are a lot of maintenance with the white midsole and it's very important to keep those as clean as possible women notice these things guys do too but women more so <laughs> anyway hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you on the next video Buenas